Alright boys and girls, welcome back to the second video in our note taking today. And so in this piece of our notes, we're going to talk about some symbols. So go ahead and underneath the operations piece that we just did in video one, we're going to write the word symbols and we're going to talk about some symbols that you're going to use in math. Let me slide this out real quick. All right. So, some symbols that we're going to be talking about are symbols that we used last week, which were are the greater than symbol. And I just bring that up again because we did use that last week. And typically, when I think about the word greater than, I think about getting bigger on the number line. And remember we talked about that symbol reading it left to right. So greater than always has that bigger end, the two dots, and as we move to the right we see the smaller end of that symbol. The other symbol that we talked about last week when we were comparing numbers is less than. And typically when I think about the word less than, I think about going down on my number line. Okay, again we read it left to right, so if I'm thinking about that less than symbol, the smaller end faces me first as I read left to right, and I'm going across, so less than, smaller end. Okay, two other words that we associate with different actions or operations would be the word and the words increase. And we have increase, that means we're getting bigger, and typically the actions that go along with that are adding actions or even multiplying actions. Okay, sometimes we will see the word decrease, and so we just have to remind ourselves that decrease means that we're getting smaller on our number line or on our thermometer, and two actions that typically go along with that would be subtracting and then dividing actions. Okay? And last of all, we're going to add ways to multiply. So in fifth grade, we have different ways that we use the multiplication symbol. I know in third grade, when you were first introduced to multiplication, you used the X. So your teacher probably wrote something like 3 times 2, and then they would, give, they would expect you to answer 6. So in fifth grade, we begin to introduce variables, which a variable is just a letter that we use in place of a number. So I'm going to write that word down. It's a letter used in place of a number. And so tonight, I'm, or today, I'm going to be using x as my variable. And if you would just stop and think about what that would look like if I were trying to write something like that. That would look crazy. You wouldn't be very clear on what to do. So in, if you're wanting to um, show multiplication, you wouldn't always want to use that x symbol because that could be really confusing. So sometimes when we're multiplying, we're going to use a dot symbol. So if I wrote a dot and then I wrote that variable, they clearly look like two different things. I won't be confused about what is happening there. And then finally, sometimes we're going to just simply see that that symbol is just going to go away. It'll just be the number next to the variable. And when the number is side by side, 
with that variable, that's going to be multiply. So if I know that my variable is equal to 2, and then I can think about 3 times 2, I could get my answer 6. I can think about 3 times 2, because x is going to be equal to 2, and that would give me 6. But these are different ways that we can show multiplication. Let me go through those again. We can use the x. We can use the dot. Or we can use side by side. Or sometimes you'll see parentheses. Those are the things you're going to see in fifth grade. All right. So take a minute and finish that up and then go ahead and move on to video three.